PoisonIvyRemoval.com No, this is not my pet cricket, and I didn't teach him how to do the backstroke on his back. This is a cricket that has been exposed to pesticide, and right now it is slowly dying. And the reason I'm making this video is to demonstrate to humans who are watching this that pesticides applied regardless of where have the same adverse effects on humans as they do on insects. This insect is now fighting for his life. Unfortunately, by the end of the day, he will not be alive. What you're looking at now are the effects of what is known as cholinesterase inhibition. It's the modality by which insecticides work. The difference is that insecticides do not distinguish or differentiate their victims. Cholinesterase inhibi inhibiting insecticides affect humans just the same as this cricket is being adversely affected now. His autoimmune system, his autonomic, excuse me, his autonomic system has been disrupted, which is why he's going into spasm and his legs are kicking, but he's not able to flip over and run away in my presence. Cholinesterase inhibition insecticides do the exact same thing to humans. They have the capability of stopping your heart from beating. They have the capability of giving you body tremors and shakes and muscle spasms. But in that case, they're usually deadly or require that you make an immediate visit to a hospital emergency room to receive some kind of antidote to offset and counterbalance the toxic effects of the pesticides. These are the same pesticides, by the way, that are used in growing all of our food. And washing off the pesticides from the food that we eat once it's bought or picked doesn't always work because most of the pesticides today, the way they're designed to work, is through systemic action. Systemic action meaning that the chemical is first absorbed into the body based upon exposure or contact, and then it works internally by disrupting the systems that keep the support alive, keep you alive. <clears throat> the insect is twitching, the insect is disoriented, the insect is unable to flip over, as I'll show you. When I nudge him over onto his belly, normally any cricket would run away. There you go. See, he just flipped back over again. Any normal cricket would run away, or hop away, I should say, as quickly as possible. Not this one. This one's incapable of doing so because, again, it's been poisoned by insecticide. Its system, its nervous system, in this case, has been disrupted. Exactly what's happening to this cricket, this cricket is actually the canary in the coal mine. Because what you see happening here, slowly is what's happening to the human population, and day by day, week by week, month by month. Toxic effects of pesticides are cumulative on the body. So just because you were exposed to a toxic pesticide today, and you take a shower and wash it off, doesn't mean that the lingering effects won't have adversity to you in the following weeks, months, and years ahead. Any, if you believe anything to the contrary, then you're believing a fairy tale. Toxic pesticides are cumulative on the ecosystem, they're, they're cumulative on your body.